shipping hazardous waste from very small quantity generators to large quantity generators. The EPA has finalized a new provision to allow very small quantity generators to send their hazardous waste to a large quantity generator in order to improve the management of hazardous waste. In order for a very small quantity generator to ship its hazardous waste to a large quantity generator without a manifest, both entities must be under the control of the same person. Control means to have the power to direct policies of the generator. The corporation that owns the very small quantity generator would have control, but a subcontractor of the generator would not. The other important term is person. A person is defined as an individual, trust, firm, joint stock company, federal agency, corporation, partnership, association, state, municipality, commission, or any interstate body. Let us understand this concept with an example. A very small quantity generator owned by company A could not send its hazardous waste to a large quantity generator owned by company B. A very small quantity generator owned by company A can only send its hazardous waste to a large quantity generator owned by company A. Furthermore, company A could not use a contractor to do this. Company A would have to control the waste from production at the very small quantity generator through transport to its associated large quantity generator. In order to ship hazardous waste to large quantity generators, very small quantity generators must label containers with the words hazardous waste, along with an indication of the characteristics of the contents being shipped. Very small quantity generators must also comply with the applicable Department of Transportation placarding and OSHA's hazard communication requirements. Large quantity generators must meet the following criteria to accept hazardous waste from very small quantity generators. Large quantity generators are required to notify EPA using EPA Form 8700-12 at least 30 days before the first shipment from a very small quantity generator arrives. Large quantity generators are required to maintain records for three years from the date the hazardous waste was received from the very small quantity generator. Large quantity generators must label accumulation units starting from the date the hazardous waste was received from the very small quantity generator. Large quantity generators must manage all incoming waste from very small quantity generators in compliance with regulations that pertain to the large quantity generator category. Large quantity generators must report the waste they receive from very small quantity generators on their biennial reports. There is no maximum limit to the amount of hazardous waste a large quantity generator receives from a very small quantity generator. Finally, if very small quantity generators want to ship their waste to a large quantity generator in another state, but of course still owned by the same business entity, the very small quantity generator must make sure that both facilities have adopted the new manifest free EPA provision. If the very small quantity generator will ship through states that have not adopted this provision, the generator should reach out to those state EPA agencies to ascertain their policies for such shipments.